Hi everyone, welcome to English 1B. I am your instructor Kim Hippotonison and I am here today to show you how to navigate the course management system which is Canvas. So you'll note that each page in Canvas has a content area, a navigation menu, a breadcrumb menu, and a sidebar. So to start you can select the start here button and this is going to lead you to the getting started module. To go through this content, choose the next button in the lower right corner. And some pages will have tabbed content, so you'll want to make sure to click on all the tabs. Next, let's go to the syllabus page. And here you have a printable syllabus and calendar if you'd like a hard copy. You can also preview these by choosing the preview pane instead of opening the document. And below, there are syllabus links that lead to specific areas of the syllabus. So for example, if you're just interested in looking at the course required reading content, you can go to that page and find out what the required textbook is. Next, let's go to modules. Modules start with the getting started module, then the syllabus module, then the video resource module. These are video tutorials I've made that review different elements of composition and can be very helpful to you if you need a refresher or if there's something you need to learn um, for the assignments in the, in the course. Next, there's learning modules, which represent each week of the semester. And they start with a weekly overview page. These have the weekly objectives, as well as what you need to read and the assignments with their due dates. Also, you can note that modules are separated into sec sections. So you have a learning material section that you can go through, and then your assignment sections here with the due dates, and these will show up on your Canvas calendar. Next, let's look at discussions. And to post in a discussion, you're going to want to hit the reply button here below, and you can type your response and then post your reply. Now say you want to edit your post, you made a mistake, choose the three vertical dots here, you can select edit, edit your post, and then done. Now each week discussion boards are due on Thursday nights and by usually by Friday on most discussion boards I will comment on your main post and just make a note if there's something you missed. So then you're going to have until Saturday night to edit those posts for a, bit, a better grade. I usually grade the discussion boards on Sundays. So look for my comments there. Also note the discussion board area. It tells you what's expected for the main post. For your peer responses, it gives you links to helpful videos. And it has a checklist here so you can remember uh, all the elements that need to be included for each post. In addition, if you'd like to see the rubric, choose the three vertical dots, select Show Rubric, and you'll see the rubric for this assignment. There's a lot of elements in discussion boards that I require, so it's important to review these before you submit your final post. Now, I do not allow discussion boards to be late. The main post is due on Thursdays, responses to peers are due on Saturdays, and this is because discussion boards are interactive. However, I do allow some assignments to be late with a deduction. So let's look at, for example, this reading response, and you'll note toward the bottom of the page that I have a note here that says this assignment can be turned in up to three days late with a 10 point, 10% point deduction per day late. So if you see that note, you'll know that assignment can be turned in late with the deduction. In addition, on assignment pages, the rubrics are always at the bottom of the page. So make sure to check those out to see what's required for each assignment. Now when it comes to submitting an assignment, you're going to choose the Submit Assignment button. You're going to choose a file from your computer, your Google Drive, Office 365, and once you've selected that, you will submit the assignment here, and that will send it to the gradebook. So next, let's look at grades. And you have a list of assignments in your gradebook that show you the points possible here. Here would be your score, how many points you received 
out of that points possible. And then the icons here on the right will show you, for example, the rubric icon shows you the rubric for the assignment and how you were graded. And the comments icon, sh icon shows you your my comments on your assignment. So sometimes I even leave videos here, especially on your essays, but that's where you're going to find my comments for these assignments. Um, lastly, note that in the class there's 10,000 points possible. That does not include the extra credit points, but the reason I make it 10,000 points is because it's very easy to figure out your grade, especially as you're coming to the end of the semester. If you have 9 to 10,000 points, that means you have an A. If you have 8 to 9,000 points, you have a B, etc. So sometimes the percentages that show up in the Canvas grade that book can be a little deceiving, and I encourage you to go by your point total so that you will have an idea of what your grades are. So if you have any questions about that or any of these elements for navigating Canvas, I'm happy to help you. Please email me, and I'm, look for, I'm looking forward to working with you over the next several weeks.